Hello and a very cordial welcome. So this is Dr. Vikas Kumar. On behalf of the CBL family, I welcome all of you to the session. All right. So just give me a second, please. Right. I just wanted to ensure whether the sound was being captured well or not. Okay. So let's start. Just a few questions and it will be a short practice session for you. Okay. The first one. The following are exercises in antonyms. So it is about an antonym, right? We need to find the correct antonym for belligerent. All right. Yeah, belligerent. Belligerent means aggressive, right? Aggressive. Aggressive. All right. So because the word means aggressive, right? We need to find a word that means something opposite to it, right? This means to guess, right? Or to gauge or to, you know, speculate. Bowling, we know it is the name of a spot and um, an action in a spot. Cricket. Vigil means alertness, right? The department of vigilance, right? Neutral is the correct answer. Means indifferent. So a person who is indifferent or who is neutral will not be belligerent, will not be hostile to you, right? All right, so the next one. Now, we need to find the synonym to this word. What does barbaric mean? It means uncultured, right? Or uncivilized. So, there you go. The S means the British spelling, the Z means the American spelling, so both are correct, okay? Beautiful, we know the meaning of dominance means to dominate somebody or the domination of someone, right? Dangerous is in turn a sign. So obviously, option A. Fine, here we have a question in which we need to find the correct order of the sentences, right? This is the question that starts with, I mean, it should start with we met not jab we met okay so obviously we met or this one now where is the subject we who met whom so the object is this so it should ideally have r after uh, q right i mean after we met we should start with r that means the first two choices have been eliminated so we we are left with two right in any case q has to follow r why because we met mr and mrs gupta when so q now we have to pick one of the two choices either s or p after q let's put s first right so we met mr and mrs gupta okay on our way home and ask them if they would be free this evening when would they be free this evening okay so this is s and p looks like if we reverse it r q p s then how does it read we met mr and mrs gupta okay um, yeah this evening and asked if they would be free when so the idea remains incomplete in the last option when would they be free we need to ask them about this evening. Therefore, P has to be after, um, in fact, at the end. So after S, right? Okay, next one. We need to select the word that is the most appropriate. So fill in the blanks, right? We live how and how to approach such questions at specific places. So I am standing at this corner. So not the not the correct choice here, right? In definitely correct. Why? We are covered. So for blocks, cities, areas, sectors, villages, we use in, right? Over above, obviously not the correct choices to be made here. All right. So we need to pick the error now if there is any every day it must be admitted has their ups and downs every day singular right every day not days 
one day only. I mean, we are talking about singular. Must be admitted is fine. Has there. What about this there, the pronoun? Shouldn't it be its? Every day is one, so it cannot have there, right? So subject must agree with not only the verb, but sometimes the pronoun should also be in accordance with the subject. Not sometimes, every time, right? Thank you. This was a short video, a short teaser. We shall keep bringing more questions to you. Thank you.